Hey, this is Will from Lifter LMS. In this video, I'm going to talk about comments. So some Lifter LMS users might want to use comments on lessons to have a place for students to give feedback, show support, or possibly even for public homework. We've seen that a few times where a Lifter LMS user will turn on comments on lessons and then they'll say in their video, post in the comments below, maybe revise this copy and post your revised copy in the comments and I'll give you feedback. And that also allows for other students in the course to see kind of the homework that other students have. It's kind of like a public uh, place for that. So there's a couple of cool things you can do with comments. So let's dive into how you can turn those on for Lifter LMS lessons. So as you can see here, I have a Lifter LMS lesson pulled up and it doesn't have comments turned on. Each lesson on the edit lesson area has a little box in the sidebar here for the discussion settings. And I'm going to check the box, allow comments. And then if I update that, typically that's going to add in a comment box here, but comments are controlled by your theme. And so each theme is going to be a little bit different. Some themes, when you check that box, comments are automatically going to pop up, but I'm currently using the cadence theme, which requires an extra step. I'm going to go to this customizer here in the top of my um, WordPress bar. Customize. You can also find this under Appearance Customize for your theme. But for Cadence, specifically the theme I'm using, I'm going to need to go to Lifter LMS, Lesson Layout, and Cadence has this Show Comments checkbox that's going to actually show the comments on my lesson posts there. So here we go. So now that I have that box checked, I now have comments enabled so people can leave comments on my lesson here. And there are some other settings in WordPress for comments. So if we go to a dashboard here under settings discussion, this is where we can see some other settings. For example, if you want an email whenever someone posts a comment, there are settings for that. You can hold comments for moderation. You can set all kinds of rules uh, for that as well under settings discussion. And the last thing I want to talk about is under courses lessons, you can change the comment status on lessons in bulk. So like I did on this lesson, I did edit lesson, I went to the discussion settings and made sure allow comments was checked. But if you already have 100 lessons set up, for example, it might be a little bit faster for you to go to courses, lessons, and then do the bulk select, edit, apply, and allow comments to allow comments on all of your lessons at once to make it a little bit faster to uh, make that switch without having to individually edit each lesson. Comments can also be seen on the back end of WordPress. If we go to the WordPress admin under comments here on the sidebar, we'll see this is the comment I just made on my lesson called test. And I can see it's in response to the Y Lifter LMS lesson here. And so, you know, as an admin, I can unapprove, remove the comment, reply to the comment, all from right here. And this is going to pull all comments from any post on your website. So if you have a blog post going on or a blog going on where you have comments there and lessons with comments, it'll all be in this one place here where you can reply uh, just from the back end of WordPress. You could also reply on the front end if you were to uh, view the specific lesson. And if there was a comment on here like this one, I can reply from right here. But that's an overview on how comments in Lifter LMS work. And the same thing would apply to courses and memberships if you wanted to enable comments for those. And yeah, that's about it for comments. Feel free to let us know in the comments below this YouTube video if you have any questions about Lifter LMS comments or let us know any other videos that you'd like to see. I'll see you in the next one.